cielo! Aiutatemi! Madonna! Oh, you're good. The ladies must like you. I wasn't looking to impress. Only to help someone in distress. Which is exactly why you impress. And you are Messer... Auditore. But please, call me Ezio. I'm Caterina. Now, Ezio. We must find you suitable reward. Do you have any suggestions? There is perhaps something you could help me with. I'm all ears. Yes, Signora. Whatever you say, Signora. He won't trouble you anymore. I took care of it. Thank you, Caterina. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Should you ever find yourself in the city of Forley, it would be my pleasure to welcome you. I look forward to enjoying your hospitality. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. What is it, Leonardo? What does he do? I could no more explain this than explain to you why the Earth goes around the Sun. You mean the Sun around the Earth? It's fabricated with materials that shouldn't exist. And yet, this is clearly a very ancient artifact. The Codex refers to it as a piece of Eden. The Spaniard. He called it the apple. Like Eve's apple, of forbidden knowledge. Are you then suggesting that this thing... This must never fall into the wrong hands. It would drive weaker minds insane. No doubt the Spaniard will be relentless in his desire to gain it back. Ezio, you must protect this with all the skills we have taught you. Take it to Forli. The citadel is walled, protected by cannons, and our ally controls it. Who is this ally? Her name is Katarina Sforza. You don't say. I think I may enjoy this mission. Thank you for everything, my oldest friend. Leonardo, Ezio tells me you travel off into Milano. I have a grand villa in Toscana. You must come visit me there. Well, well. Look who it is. Madonna. I thought when we met you were a bit special, but... an assassin? Hmm... Walk with me, Caro. You're going to love Forli. The cannons in Arcitadella alone go back a hundred years. The artifact will be quite safe there. Forgive me, but I've never heard of a woman ruling her own city before. It's very impressive. Well, it was my husband's before, of course. He died. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't be. I had him killed. Oh. <clears throat> we discovered Girolamo Riario was working for the Templars, making a map of the locations of the remaining Codex pages. I never liked the goddamn son of a bitch anyway. He was a lousy father, boring in bed, and a pain in my ass. 
Look. Oh, no. Aspetta. What's happening? They came as soon as you left the city walls, signora. The city is under attack. What? By who? The Orsi brothers, signora. Oh, sangue di Giuda. Who are the Orsi? The same canali I hired to kill my husband. It's the Spaniard, of course. The Orsi have no world view bigger than their purse. But how could he know where we were taking the apple before we even knew? Because they're not here for the apple, Ezio. They're after Riario's map. Basta with your map, Nicolo. My children are inside. Oh, porco demonio. Eccolo! He's right there. Oh, my God. Murder. Inside! Double crossing bastards! Is there another way into this place? Aspetta! Perhaps yes. There's an old tunnel under the western wall from the canal. Bene. I'll be right back. Hey! You! Yeah, I'm talking to you! You spineless dogs! You occupy my city, my home! You think I'm going to stand here and do nothing about it? How about I come up there and rip your ballet off? What kind of men are you? Doing the beating of your masters for loose change. You're not afraid of me. You will be when I come up there and cut your heads off, piece down your necks and shove your faces up my pika! I'll stick your body with a fork and roast them over my kitchen fire. How's that sound? You laugh. You wouldn't if I was a man. You think I wouldn't do it just because of this? Le tete. Le mie tete. I bet you want to see them, don't you? You wish you could touch them. You wish you could lick them, don't you? Well, come on down here and give it a try. Like a real man. And I'll kick your balls so hard they fly out your nostrils! Lurido branco di cani bastardi! Tornatevene a casa se non volete finire impallati sulla mura della mia cittadella! Ah! Ma forse è per questo che non vi decidete a uscire. Già, scommetto che lo gradiresce assai un bel palo di quercia su per il culo. Sangue di Dio! <ride> Ma dove vi hanno pescato? In un convento di monache? Non ho mai visto in vita mia una cozzaglia di codarti peggio assortita di voi. Che vista penosa! Dopo che vi avrò fatto castrare... Non sarete meno uomini di quanto siete ora! <ride> <ride> 